Day and we're gonna be doing a very very exciting project today I've waited for months for this day to come we are going to be doing skinny tumblers and glass tumblers we're gonna be sublimating them now the past two days I have been coming home and I have been fixing up my designs for my glass tumblers and skinny tumblers they're just designs that I've used previously just to kind of like test out I am gonna make them into like actual products but I haven't been designing anything new yet well the glass tumbler actually is a new design but I'll get to that in a bit. So yeah, that actually, I'm glad I spent those two days doing that and not vlogging it and doing it today because it took a long time. I kind of didn't think about the fact that my patterns for the skinny tumblers and glass tumblers are going to have to be seamless. So I had to go back and fix all of that and make all of my patterns seamless. I also had to like do the measurements and cut them all to size and do all the, 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 the boring file stuff that really you guys don't want to see that anyway. <laughs> Today we are going to be sublimating them. I do have to print out a couple more because one of them is my pastel game pattern that I have for my mouse pads. I had to go and like completely refix that. I also have my strawberry lemonade design which is currently only a bookmark. I thought this would be a really good idea to turn this into a cup because strawberry lemonade cup makes sense. It is more of like a summery spring design but I'm gonna sell it all year round anyway because it's super cute and I really like it. I actually printed it out and wrapped it on one of my skinny tumbler mugs and the sizing as well that's all done and I also did I think you can kind of see the design you can kind of see the design in there. So it's white snowflakes, which I wanted for Christmas. If I can get them done this weekend, maybe I can put them up like next weekend or something. Maybe I can take some quick product photos for them and get them up and you guys can buy them for Christmas. I might make the strawberry lemonade design into a glass tumbler as well. I think for summer especially, like they're going to be really cute. So I made two of them. The reason for that is because I realized it's a white design on white paper. So this one actually has some shadows on it um, around the border of the snowflakes, just because I needed to see what I was working with, if it fit properly, if I liked how it looked, which I do. And this one is white on the inside. Um, there's no shadows or anything on it. This is just the plain white snowflake design. What I actually did with this one in Photoshop, I put like a black box around the design. So when I cut it out with my guillotine, when I printed and cut it, uh, I knew what to cut. So I just cut the black lines. So hopefully this is okay. This one might be a little more trial and error, but I also have my pastel game design, which I fixed and I need to print that out because I haven't printed it out yet. I only, only finished fixing it last night at about 8 p.m. I think it was. It took a lot, a lot of work to fix that one. It was pretty hard. So as you can see, like the pattern kind of repeats itself. So when it folds over, this should connect to this and then it should, should look pretty seamless. So that took a long time to fix. Pretty much had to redraw all of it and like rearrange everything, but I am very happy with how it looks now. It feels like it's been a while since I did sublimation, so I'm a little, little nervous. I think I'm more nervous than when I did the mugs, mostly because these cups, the skinny tumblers and gas tumblers, are expensive. I'm a little nervous. I don't want to have too many wonky ones. I can literally not tell you how happy I was on Thursday and Friday when I was printing out my sublimation prints and my printer was right here and I didn't have to run up and downstairs. I didn't even have to get out my, off my desk. I printed them out and I cut them out all from my room. Didn't leave my room once. I can't tell you how great that was and having the cups right here as well in these drawers. Oh my God, it was the best. <laughs> Seems about right print. My guillotine out as well so I can cut it up. Print. Hello. You're quiet mode all this time. Turn that on. Are you rebelling? Hello. Really? Oh, there we go. I was gonna say, are we really failing at the first hurdle, which is just printing something out? <laughs> One thing about the Christmas launch. Um, so I put my Christmas launch live. 
and within 24 hours all of my cat greetings cards were sold out I mean it was only because one person bought three of them <laughs> Which I love so much. I love that that person loved my greeting cards so much that they wanted to buy it three times So I actually had to go back to my manufacturer buy ten more just in case and I paid express delivery So they arrived on Thursday, so I've actually restocked all of those now as well, which is insane oh, Shit, I cut off a bit of that design there. Oh god, that might not be good. I cut off Okay, you can't see because my camera will not focus on it But I just cut off a little bit of the design which is where the seam is supposed to meet the other side, like the headphone, this part. So that might not go well. <laughs> Luckily, I accidentally printed off like three more of these. <laughs> I can kind of see the design a tiny, tiny little bit, and I'm not sure the star looks very good, if I'm honest. Yeah, I think it's overlapping a little bit, the star. I might have to resize it and do this all again okay i'm gonna print it out again i've made the canvas size like a tiny little bit smaller so, okay this time i get to be cautious with the lines it's hard this is this is hard this is the hard part so the way that i'm doing this is that i'm coming up to filter um, i just came to offset and i've just kind of been like moving the slider a little bit as you can see there if i have it like that there is no patterns on the side it may leave a slight gap i don't know how that's gonna look but if it's close enough to the edge it should be okay <laughs> if i can get away with this it'll be much easier than having to match up the line art and everything with itself so we'll give that a go okay so i currently have the new print printing out the one that I fixed. I also printed out the one before that um, where I lowered, like I, I made the canvas size um, a little smaller in width and when I cut it, it just perfectly fit. I feel like this is pretty well lined up. I did the best that I could, but I just thought while I'm here, I might as well just test it and see how it looks and then I can decide whether or not I want the one where the pattern overlaps or if I want the one where it's um, like the pattern doesn't overlap and it's probably going to be slightly easier but I don't know if it's going to be like a little bit of a gap and it's I'm not sure but I thought I'm here might as well do both I'm a little worried about so on this cup the like on this cup that it's slightly raised like the paper so it, the, the the design should go all the way to the top but the problem is here you might just catch the edge of like a heart like the heart art which might just make it look like there's three black dots on the top like it'll just be the tail end of them so i might have to get rid of that part of the design okay i think i can't believe i'm saying this but i think i'm ready to start doing my sublimation for my glass tumblers and skinny tumblers. Wow, months and months of waiting has come to this moment. I'm excited, I'm terrified. Let's go give it a go. <laughs> okay, so I just had some lunch and uh, I got changed because it's really, really cold. <laughs> I got changed. And I've also brought all of my tumblers downstairs. So I think we're ready to give this a go. Go. I do think for now I'm gonna follow the guide that they gave me for the temperature Maybe turn it up a little bit or like maybe leave it in for a bit longer because I feel like I've never had a problem with Overheating them. It's always been underheating. So <laughs> I might just um, kind of go with what they recommend, but maybe leave it in a tiny little bit longer <laughs> I am going to do the glass tumbler first because I'm just pretty sure that these are like, not, they're not exactly the same size as the mugs, but they're not like too far off the mugs. Definitely needs a bit more pressure on that though. It's not a, that's very, that's very loose. <laughs> the reason that I'm doing the glass tumblers first as well is because it seems from the guide that they give, they're pretty similar to the ceramic cups in terms of temperature and time. Okay, I forgot how bad it smells. <laughs> Okay, we can turn it on now. I'm very scared. I'm very, very nervous for this one, but uh, we'll see how it goes. Uh, okay, I'm gonna put it in the middle. 
oh my god oh i'm gonna have to turn it around and i didn't think about that for this one do i here's a question do i turn it around midway through or do i have to let it go the whole way and then turn it? i don't know oh no i didn't think of this <laughs> I'm sure if I look up a video, people will tell me. I didn't turn it around, was I supposed to? Ah! Oh, I dropped my phone. I'm gonna panic turn it around, just cause, why not? So I watched, I watched someone's video on them doing these and theirs cl closed the whole way. So I don't quite know. I can see inside in here, you guys can see a little bit as well. The design is definitely coming out more vibrant, like I can see it better now, which usually means it's working. See, I don't feel like that. Okay, that marks almost another 80 seconds. So I wonder if that means it's done. I don't wanna like, glass is quite feeble, isn't it? Like if it heats up too much, it might break. I cannot tell. <laughs> I think I'm gonna have to just peel it off, but very carefully and hope that I don't like ruin the design while I'm doing it. I feel like even if this did work, I'm unsure of what I just did because I switched it over and then I like put it on for more seconds. <laughs> Personally, it's a no from me. So you're gonna go back in for a while. I don't know, I feel like it's been in for a long time though. Like it did come off the design, it just wasn't that vibrant, but also it's like a very, it is a white design on a frosted mug. So I'm like, how, how is that actually gonna look though? You know, like that's not gonna be that vibrant. Yeah, that's another 80 seconds, I feel like. <laughs> That's a lot. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna turn this off. I'm gonna let this cool down for a bit. Let me show you guys the design. Let me show you guys. It's very, I mean, it is a white design, the frosted glass. It could be that's the reason. That's why it's so, it's so, what's the word? Unnoticeable. <laughs> Maybe this design just isn't gonna work with this kind of cup. I did actually make a blue, um, design of this, the blue, a blue snowflake design. So maybe that would be better. I might try one of those next. So maybe the white design isn't a good choice. Maybe that makes it too faded. Maybe I try the blue design next and see how that goes. I My goodness, that took forever. So, finally got the new blue snowflake design on the glass can. First of all, the file on my um, hard drive was corrupted, so I had to go to my tablet and then like re-export it and everything. Then it was too big, the design on the glass can, because I forgot, like obviously with the white design, I had resized it, so I had to resize it again. It was too big first time around, then it was too small, and then it was too big again. It took what, what should have been like a 10 minute thing, took like half an hour, 40 minutes. I did darken the blue color a little bit, so it's pr a pretty dark blue, but because it's going on to a translucent cup, a frosted cup especially, I feel like it's gonna come out quite light. So just to make the design more noticeable, I have um, made it so it's a little darker. <laughs> about a hundred seconds on each side for now. The design definitely looks like it's um coming through though, so that's good. Still very translucent. Maybe I should put it in for a teeny bit more. It just seems like really, really translucent. Like obviously it's a frosted glass cup. The design isn't gonna be as vibrant as what it would be on like a ceramic cup or even the skinny tumblers, but it just feels like they're really, 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 <laughs> translucent i'd like it to be a bit more vibrant if i can i'm just not sure if it will or not so it's definitely better than the white like you can definitely see the design a little bit more you can see the design a lot better on the inside which makes me assume that it is like done it's just on the outside because it's frosted i guess definitely progress definitely like it i think i need to i need to see this with some liquid in like maybe uh get some like iced coffee or something <laughs> and uh, try and see what it looks like then. I was watching a few other people uh, making these and a lot of them said the same thing like it's a, it's very translucent but there's only so much you can do when you're sublimating onto glass cups and stuff. Maybe I ought to make the design a bit darker but uh, I'm not sure. 
we'll let this cool down for a while because now I want to try my skinny tumblers and see how they work out. I'm not sure which one this one is, and this is the pastel game one. We'll do one of these first because we've got two of these. Skinny tumbler apparently only needs 60 seconds, which I don't believe, so I'm probably gonna put it on for like maybe 80 seconds on each side instead. Actually, I could do 60 seconds on each side and 180 degrees Celsius, so that's the same as the other two. Okay, first skinny tumbler test. Let's see how this goes. <laughs> Second. Hold on a second. Hopefully it looks like that all the way around. <laughs> oh my god, I hope this worked. Oh, that would be so cool if it worked first time. I don't know why I'm expecting it. <gasps> Are you fucking kidding? <gasps> what? Okay, first things first. It's not perfect, it didn't go perfect first time round, which is like absolutely fine. It does have the line down the middle, but what? So this is, um, hold on, let me just show you guys. That's where the seam is. This is the one with the, the where I was gonna have like, have to match the pattern up. And obviously that it hasn't worked. I don't think, even the headphones at the bottom, you can see this just, it's not, not great. I don't think I can do it that way. I think I'm gonna have to make it where there's like a little tiny sliver of space. I am, um, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Oh my God. Oh my god, what? <laughs> it's so pretty. Oh my god, it's beautiful. <laughs> oh my god, it's like so close to being perfect. Just that tiny little seam down there. But like, I could very easily sell this as like a wonky one because it's not even that like that bad. It's just like, uh, other than that one little part, it's perfect. Oh my god, I love it. <laughs> I cannot believe that I now have glass tumblers and skinny tumblers. <laughs> They're not perfect, but I don't even care. I love them. Okay, I'm gonna do my other two now while the settings are like all there and ready and we're gonna, we're gonna do it. We're gonna give it a go. I think this one is this uh, strawberry lemonade one. So we're gonna do this one first because I really want to see how this looks as a skinny tumbler, so let's pop this in. Almost done, almost ready. Okay, okay, I think. Oh, you can see the seam again on this one. Me. Yeah, okay, no, I do need to fix the seam on this. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my God, they're so vibrant and beautiful. I can't. Oh my goodness, these are so pretty. <laughs> Here is the uh, strawberry lemonade one. I really, really like it. I think it's so, so cute. Oh my goodness. However, the seam, I know what happened here. I think with this one, the I actually overlapped. Rather than having the two pieces of paper meet, I actually ended up overlapping them a little bit. I'm assuming this, I mean, obviously you can see the strawberries cough and stuff. I'm assuming this little like darker patch here might be because maybe it didn't sublimate properly in that area because that there was an extra layer of paper there. So this one didn't really work out that well, like the other one, which is fine, but the designs are coming out absolutely beautifully. It's just the seams. They're not even coming out blurry on the edges. They are coming out so vibrant and so lovely. Like, I can't. These are so beautiful. <laughs> okay, last one, last one. We're gonna do this one real quick. Oh, please, seam be okay. No, there's a small, tiny, little white line. <laughs> it's so tiny, <laughs> but I can see it, which is annoying. <laughs> This is gonna be the issue, isn't it? It's not gonna be the time and the temperature that I have it in, like it was for the cups. It's gonna be the seam. <laughs> Here, the seam is showing. Also the top part, like even though the top part was like, I think I maybe need to be careful. I think maybe this one on the other one, the first pastel gay one, we didn't have this white rim on the top because it was like kind of the, 
the paper was like with this print on was kind of coming up a little bit maybe that's another thing I need to be aware of like make sure that to, in order to get this design f fully to the top we have a little bit of wiggle room up here and have the paper kind of coming up a little bit I do think this is the way to go with the designs it doesn't like if that white line wasn't there you wouldn't think like oh that's where the design ended and starts again like you wouldn't it's the white line but um because there was no pattern like needing to like match up with each other it's made it a lot easier so this is definitely the way to go which means i'm probably gonna have to fix my strawberry uh, lemonade one as well but this is good i just need to find a way to curb this little problem here not really sure how i'm gonna do that but i'm sure i'll find a way so my plans for the rest of the night are now going to be fixing these files and trying to get them ready for tomorrow that's my night <laughs> I'm gonna be fixing these files and uh, i'll see you guys tomorrow for more sublimation <laughs> spent the morning um i fixed the files last night but obviously i had to like test them out again make sure they fit there were a couple of times where i was kind of like the seam just just doesn't touch it's been a bit of a nightmare getting it to the point where i think it'll come out perfect obviously i have to put it to the test now and see if they're actually gonna work out or not but it has taken quite a while i have two more tumblers one of the um, pastel game and one of the strawberry lemonade and I got two snowflake glass tumblers I also darkened the design for the glass tumblers a little bit just to see if it maybe helps it being a bit more vibrant on the glass so I'm gonna start with the skinny tumblers today because it's still set up from yesterday when I did the tumblers so the pressure and everything should be about the same and then I'll let the machine cool down after doing these and then I'll just reset it to do the glass tumbler instead so this time I left a little bit of a, the paper like comes up past the cup a little bit so we totally won't get that bright white rim again. Okay, so that's 60 seconds on both sides but I am just going to leave it in for an extra 30 seconds, turn it, leave it again. That's what I was doing yesterday and they were coming out pretty good looking. So I'll give it an extra safety 30 seconds. <laughs> there we go, that should do. I'm just going to put this to the side. And I'm gonna really quickly put my other tumbler in as well. Okay, that's another 60 seconds, and then I'll turn it slightly and we'll leave it in for another. And we'll pop that down. And I'm gonna turn it off because I'm gonna need to let it cool down so I can readjust it for these ones. And we'll have a look at these. I'm pretty sure this one didn't work because I can see this seems a bit weird, but I'm not really sure what happened yeah okay so for this one okay we've got another line down the middle here it is better than yesterday i actually brightened this whole design up because the one from yesterday was a slight bit darker this is a perfect color i really like this however this is still technically a wonky one because of the dark line there i think this means i'm gonna have to be careful when i'm wrapping them so they don't overlap as well because i think that's what caused this so they can't overlap and they have they have to literally just be touching each other but quite hard to get perfect if i'm honest but having the little overlap on the top with the paper has caused the white rim to not come back so <laughs> that's good it's just literally I think I might just have to practice with the seam, doing the seams a bit more, because uh, we're still getting a bit of issue there. But other than that, wow, how cute. I really like this. I, th I think brightening up the design was a good idea. I don't know if, I'll show you the guys the one from yesterday. So here they are side by side. This is the darker one. 
and this is the lighter one this is what i imagined the design to be like this one came out a lot darker which it's still very cute um but i just it's supposed to be a quite a summery bright design i really wanted it to be like a light pastel kind of blue where this is more like a sky blue so that's that that's the little change that i made really happy with it they're both really cute though okay so this is the pastel game one we'll see if this one did any better it's looking good so far see no <laughs> there's a very 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 slight dark line there very very slight See, this is the problem I often have when I'm making products from home. Where do I draw the line in between this is a wonky one and this one just has like a slight flaw because I'm making them at home. If I've got to get it where the paper is just touching, I'm gonna, you know, there's gonna be ones that come out where they might have like, for example, this where it's like a very, I can't even find it, <laughs> where it has like a very, very slight dark line down the middle. It's only at the bottom though. I mean, I'd still class this as a wonky one, but obviously homemade things are never gonna be perfect, especially if I'm making quite a lot of them. And that's my issue. Like, where do I draw the line? <laughs> I don't know. I guess it's like, would I be happy to sell this for full price? At the top, it has, it is seamless. Shows me it can be done. It's just gonna be a bit hard. Huh. Well, this is the closest I have gotten to a tumbler that is almost perfect. <laughs> Let me just show you guys. I don't know if you can see there. That, that's the little line there. It doesn't have it at the top. It is just at the bottom. I would like them to be fully seamless. I think it's just gonna take a bit of practice. But yeah, obviously I'm gonna have to take into consideration the fact that I have to leave some wiggle room for myself. If I'm making these at home, then of course there's gonna be flaws that, um, and not every single one is gonna come out completely perfect, but I'm gonna try my very best to get them as completely perfect as I can. one now before I put the other one in just because I'm unsure if this has worked or not. It looks like it on the inside the design looks really vibrant so I'm hoping that works. <laughs> it looks a lot darker this time. I will give it that much. That looks a lot lot better. That, that looks a lot better actually. So there they are. Um, as you can see this one's slightly darker. This is the one that I just did and this is the one from yesterday. So it definitely definitely getting there. I really like this one actually. I feel like to be honest I could sell this one for... Let me just check. <laughs> Make sure there's no like blurriness or anything on. No, I feel like I could sell this one for full price. I think this is actually really really good. I like this. The design is a lot lot more darker on it. I might at some point darken it more just to see how it will look but it is definitely definitely I, I'm really happy with this I think this is really really cute I really really like it there's no seam or anything on it it's seamless the, the design's a lot darker so you can see like the design a lot more on it I'm really really happy with this one I think this is our first glass tumbler that has come out perfect yeah, I guess the difference with uh, with the glass tumbler designs is that it's transparent other than the snowflake pattern. So it you can't really, there is no seam to worry about because it's nothing that needs connecting. Like the tumblers obviously are like fully colored designs. So it's harder to kind of get it where there's no dark lines and no white lines uh, down where the seam meets. I think with the glass cans, they are gonna be a lot easier than the skinny tumblers. I think the skinny tumblers are definitely gonna have a little bit of a learning curve. I'd say that looks pretty good to me. I do need to give them a little bit of a wipe because the paper sometimes does stick to the glass when I'm peeling it off. Here we go, two snowflake glass cans that look pretty perfect to me. I'm really, really happy with these. Wow. <sighs> okay, so I 
got quite a few tumblers and glass mugs done. I think I've got about five tumblers overall and I've got about four glass cups. Glass cans they're called overall. The glass cans, these designs anyway, the snowflake ones are 100% they're perfect. Like I'm really happy with them. I do need to give them a little wipe down because there's still some paper <laughs> in certain areas but it's seamless. Like I can't even tell where the seam is, was originally if I'm honest. <laughs> like I said I might experiment a little bit more and darken the design just to see if I can get it any darker but honestly I am so happy with these. I think the design is so cute and if you have like coffee like iced coffee or something in here the design is going to show up a lot more. It's just because it's empty right now like if I put my hand behind it you can kind of see a little the design a little better and stuff like I said at the beginning of this video because these have worked out and because I'm happy with these designs and how they're turning out these might actually be on my shop next Sunday what I'm gonna do is next next week next Saturday I'm probably gonna take product photos for these and spend the entire Saturday getting these ready to put on my Etsy shop. Then on Sunday, what I can do is I can put them up in my Etsy shop a little bit late, but it's just something extra for my Christmas launch and like they are Christmassy kind of designs, they're winter designs. So I think these would be really nice to have up on my shop. I really, really like them. I'm excited for that. The tumblers are gonna take a little bit more time to get right. I am struggling with the seams a little bit. I think it's gonna take a little bit more adjusting, a little bit more research, finding what works, finding what doesn't. Obviously, I'm gonna see if I can fix this issue. I'm sure I can. There are other people, other small businesses out there that do these that have seamless designs. So it's definitely something I can do. It's just gonna take a little bit more uh, time and practice with these ones, but I freaking love them. I love these <laughs> so much. Look at how cute they are. I love how vibrant they are. The design is so crisp. I love these, I love these so much. And then here is my other um, strawberry lemonade design. I freaking love these designs. I can't say it enough. I'm so, so happy with this progress and with this sublimation adventure, like delving into all the skinny tumblers and stuff. Like, obviously the skinny tumblers have given me a little bit of issue, but I thought it would be harder than what it has been. The temperature and time and stuff, I feel like have been pretty spot on, pretty perfect. I haven't, I've had to change the time and temperature slightly, but not that much. I am loving this sublimation adventure. I actually think sublimation is like one of my most favorite things to do now. I loved making these cups. It was so fun and I can't believe that they're already coming out this perfect. It's insane. When I started my business, I thought like, I always wanted these kinds of things in my shop. I just didn't think it would happen so soon. I didn't think a year later I'd, ha I'd be holding <laughs> these in my hands. The skinny tumblers are probably gonna be more of like a next year launch. I am planning to sell these wonky ones at my next market. I might actually sell the wonky ones on Etsy, but as for like a proper drop, probably the beginning of next year, but I wanted to make a start on it anyway, but it's probably gonna be too close to Christmas when I get these down, when these are, you know, when I fix the problems I have with these, it's probably gonna be too close to Christmas to do a launch, so I'll probably wait till next year at this point, but my glass cans, I don't see why I couldn't put these in my shop, and it's great because they're a winter design, and I want them, I wanted them for Christmas anyway, so I'm super happy with these. If you guys have any tips on like how I can uh, get these seams to not to come out right, then please leave a comment, leave any suggestions, let me know which one you like more, which one's your favorite design, maybe you look prefer the, the this glass tumbler design instead. If any of you guys do sublimation, let me know if you got any tips, anything that could help me with these seams, because I really don't know how I'm gonna avoid this right now. If you guys wanna see my first ever attempt that I did at sublimation, you can click this video right here. It was extremely hard, but as you can see, it has totally paid off. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked, perhaps subscribe. If you didn't like, I'm surprised you made it this far in the video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.